Everybody, Jerome Wright here, and once again, you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Um, in this video, I'm going to be releasing um, some information regarding my vision for the cure of the deadly Ebola um, virus that is in Africa and other viruses which affect bodies are um, mankind's bodies internally and externally. Um, I have already had this vision some time ago and um, it was regarding cancer or cancerous effects that take possession of our body and subsequently destroy them. Um, I know through my paranormal experience and encounter that we evolved through the oceanic waters of our world through reptiles and um, subsequently um, underwent genetic bridgings that involved animals of our world, um, which included horses, pigs, um, back earlier on in our ancient ancestral days, the, the triceratops, the dinosaur, all of these creatures which we evolved from. In fact, we evolved through the dinosaur. So having this realistic understanding about who we are and where we evolved from and how we evolved into what we are today, the answers to most of the um, mysterious questions that we have on, I mean, what can we do to help ourselves? What can we do about assisting ourselves through moments in time where we have such cases where we are subject to plague, famine, and other um, other scenarios where there's disease that um, that threatens our bodies. Well, having the, the knowledge of who we are and where we evolved from instinctively gives you the answers to solving these problems. For example, when I was um, when I looked at this latest image here of these of the Ebola virus, which is going on now, the first thing I do is I get angry because we place a high emphasis on our religious values and belief in religion. And you know what I found though in, in most cases that when when this comes up and becomes a, a a a global concern, whereas you have the our popes and our ministers and our clergy and our royals um, in the in the mainstream media, it seems like all of that dies down and shuts down. It's like they pulled a plug on it because they do not want to be associated with this. I mean it seems like even when the wars were going on in our world or when there is threat of war, it's like you don't hear anything from the popes, um, high, other high-ranking clerg um, clerical um, officials, or from kings and queens. You don't hear nothing about them. But as soon as everything dies down in the media and becomes calm again, their faces appear with them traveling and talking about world peace, this, that, and the third. I mean... It's amazing. You know, if you're shielded, or if you have the shield of God, you should be able to walk through a portion of Africa where there is Ebola virus and you should not have no fear or worry. In fact, you should actually have your hand out and extend to them to save their souls. You know, um, this is the problem that I have with accepting religion or um or anything dealing with miracles and the way in the way that miracles are supposed to be happening you know because I could not agree with any type of God or any type of demon demonic forces that allows for there to be a pain and suffering with people I'm against this whether it's caused by demonic forces or whether it's caused by good for whatever you want to call it, I'm against this. All right. Having said that, um, the the cure that I envision for this is a common sense approach. To a cure, and I'm going to tell you how I verified myself just just a moment ago. 
You have skin legions, boils that pop up on the skin through this Ebola virus. You see that? You see this here? And let me tell you how I first saw the cure for this. I'm going to take you back. I'm going to tell you a little bit of story if I have enough time here. Um, yes, we do have plenty of time. When I was a kid, and I used to get scabs on my body from falling or getting hurt, scrapes, and I would have a scab on it, or if I would have just a cut and a scrape. We had a pool next door to our house, and in that pool, it had chlorinated water, which would mean chlorine in the water. And I used to pretty much live in the pool, I mean every day through the summer. It was a um, public pool. And, you know, even as a child, when I used to jump in that pool, and I would have this, 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 these, these little wounds or whatever I would have on my body, a scrape or scratch, not nothing serious, of course. I would notice that the chlorinated water would, uh, would miraculously heal me. I mean, it would dry up whatever was there. There was no infection, no nothing. It was the chlorine water that actually cleared my body of that, of that wound. And I noticed that even as a child. Now, I also noticed another thing that the same effect would happen with me if I went to um, our local beach, which would be the local beach would be in Atlantic City, New Jersey. If I went and I d dived into or got into salt water, if I had a cut on my foot or if I had a cut on my hand, I noticed that the wound would actually begin to dissolve or go away from my body in a more quicklier way than if it would if I would had not got in the water. So now here I am today as an adult years away from when I was a child and made this realization that the water, the salt in the water, and I realized that the chlorine in the water healed my wounds quicker. It killed the germs in them, the bacteria. It was just plain and simple. That was as a child. So, so here I am here today as, a, as an adult. And I'm having my genuine experience and encounter, as you know through the many videos that I have here. And when I saw the Ebola virus, or imagine Ebola virus and a, and a cure, I said to myself, the same cure is what is actually available for these people, which they said that they don't have no cure from. You go and you baptize yourself into, into the oceanic waters from which you evolved. As soon as your body, you, you submerge your body on a daily basis, the salt Water came the salt water on properties in the water will kill off your skin infections. Common sense, point blank. Any viruses that are surfacing at that point in your skin would be killed off by the salt water. The same thing if you did, if you if you had chlorine or chlorinated water and you subject your body to it, the same effect effect would happen. Okay, so what about what do we do about the inside? Cure. Well, I read here after I made my, my discovery. I was going to even post this video without that, but I googled cure for Ebola virus and I, I got this here. And this is going to show you how I verified myself. There are no specific treatment for the disease. I mean, um, no specific treatment for the disease is yet available. Efforts to help those who are infected with the supportive, I mean, with the um, um, with the um, infected are supportive and include giving either oral re dehydration therapy, slightly sweet and salty water to drink, or intravenous um, fluids. Here, they are talking about giving a salty water solution in the body what I have already experienced without even reading that first. I swear to you, I did not even read this first and I knew the answer and here I am verified. So, we have the salty water on the outside. They're talking about a small salty amount of water on the inside. I agree with this. I agree with this wholeheartedly. But there is also something else that I want to tell you that is the second part to my 
paranormal experience and encounter and solving what is going on with what you need to do with killing this disease. This disease thrives in the body at a certain body temperature. Okay. So what do you do to to um to kill this virus? You lower your body temperature so to the point to where the, the virus dies. How do you lower your body temperature? You subject your body body to the conditions that are present in hypothermia. Where do you get hypothermia from? You can either subject your body to a colder environment or which is consistent with winter or you can subject your body again to where I told you to go to in the first place. You put your body into the ocean and allow your body to come to this point in near state of becoming of, of hypothermia. You do this to the point to where you are combating this virus and the virus dies. You keep lowering your body. Even if you, low, you lower your body, and, and, and each case might be varying to the next. But you take and subject your body to that. And the cold environment, that lowering your body's temperature, even if it's a, if, if it's a, if it's a small degree of lowering or a large degree of lowering, to the point to where the viruses can no longer have a, 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 an environment in your body to where it can actually sustain its own life and it dies off. Because this virus is only in your body based on the current temperature that your body is holding it to sustain its life. So you shock it, not by a slow um, um, decrease in your, in your body temperature, but you shock it into a death, a death defying, I guess that's the best way of saying it, state of being by taking and, and, and lowering it through that of hypothermia. How do you get hypothermia? People that fall off ships that are in the water for less than five minutes go into a state of hypothermia shock. Imagine what that does to the creature that is trying to survive in your body. This is what I'm talking about. I'm going to put more in writing. Where are we at here? I don't want to, I don't want to put more in writing here. I'm going to so it's my position that you can help your body if you have these these skin legions on your body. I don't care what it doesn't even have to be Ebola. It could be any type of skin condition. The salt water kills it, people, because these conditions cannot. It's like putting salt on a slug or a snail in your backyard, and it automatically deteriorates. It dries up. That's what the salt water does. It cures your skin. It's our planet's gift to us. It's our natural body healer. And the reason why it's our natural body healer is because we evolved from that. There's a whole lot more to this that I, I mean, that I'm holding back on. But people think about it. The logic behind what I'm stating. How many of you have jumped into the ocean with a cut or a bruise and said, hey, well, dang, this looks cured mighty fast and already, or jumped into that pool with that chlorine in it. And when I tell you that our pools, when I was growing up as a kid, were very chlorinated because we grew up in the hood and were, this pool was in the middle of pretty much like a ghetto. So when I tell you that they had high chlorine levels in this pool, they had high chlorine levels in the pool. I envisioned... And I used to be in this water with my eyes open and, and my eyes red and all. And this is what I'm telling you people. And I have people of Africa, jump your asses into the ocean. Open up your eyes. Let this, 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 this salt water cleanse your bodies. Your clothing, all your clothing. Take your clothing into the ocean. Wash it. Bring the ocean water back into your homes. Clean your houses with this salt water. Kill these viruses with the salt. That's my message to you. I'm going to put more in writing. Thank you.